Please don't let the ultimate flex of 2019, the titanium Apple card, fool you. Hey guys, is it going? If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Paul with Sunset We will see. Please subscribe so don't miss any of our next videos. Hey guys, a quick update on the Apple card. First thing, you no longer need an invitation to apply for the card. As long as you have an iPhone, you can now apply for the card. And here's how you get it. My thought on this card, beautiful card, no numbers anywhere, nothing on it. This card reminds me so much of 2007 when the original iPhone came out. We all had a phone. I was using the Trio, the Palm Trio. It was the Palm Trio, the Blackberry. Everybody was into Blackberries. And boom, the iPhone came out. So the first thing people was wondering about, okay, how are we going to be able to tap on this tiny screen and a virtual keyboard? Steve Jobs goes to Macworld and he, he pulls out this iPhone. What was your first reaction when you saw that? <laughs> $500 fully subsidized with a plan? I said, that is the most expensive phone in the world and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good... First time that you actually had a chance to play with the iPhone and typed on it, you automatically knew this was the way forward. There was no going back. And at the time, BlackBerry and Pump was pushing those, um, those physical keyboard. I feel the same about this card. When you think about what they're doing here with this card now in 2019, first of all, this, here's the way you activate the card. No phone numbers to call, no punching numbers, nothing. This thing is so easy, like the commercial said, even a caveman can do it. It takes literally less than five seconds to activate the, the, this card. So this card will constantly be updated with new merchant where you can get 3% cash back. And this is a good thing, guys. This is, this is a good thing. If you're planning on getting this card, this is a good thing. Instead of just getting a 3% cash back when you buy uh, things from Apple, they came out today and I announced that starting today, you can get 3% back cash back from Uber and Uber Eats. And they will come out with more, more merchant later on to add to this card. Don't get me wrong, I'm still disappointed about the fact that the, this card came out with no sign-on bonus and you only get a 3% when you buy stuff from Apple. But in, from what they said today, that they will constantly adding merchant to the 3% cash back rewards on the card. We can't stress enough how much we appreciate the way they designed this app for this card. We feel like if you're gonna have a credit card, this is the way it should be. This is the way forward, where you see every single thing and then this card keep on reminding, it's right on your face. You don't have to go to a web browser. You don't have to open a different app. It's right there in your face, showing you where you're spending your money, how much your money is, how much it's costing you, and then playing with your payments, this is this is this is this is the way forward, guys. We really do appreciate that, and it's unfortunate that it's only limited to iPhone users, especially people who are new to credit cards. We feel that this would help them a lot. And if you need to speak to customer service, it's just a text away. You don't even have to call. At the end of the day, Apple made a beautiful card, a metal titanium. Again, guys, don't let the ultimate flex of 2019, the titanium Apple card, fool you. The only reason this card exists is to increase Apple bottom line. So it doesn't matter if you're getting 3% back, 10% back, or sign on bonus anywhere. If you cannot afford to pay them in full at the end of each billing cycle, it's not worth it. They are out to make money and to keep you in debt. Just keep that in mind, remember that. The APR for this card starts over 12%. So it doesn't matter how much they're giving you back. If you cannot afford to pay it in full at the end of your billing cycle, it's not worth it. No card is worth it. At the end of the day, you will end up paying 10 times, 100 times more than that sign-on bonus if you don't know how to manage your credit cards. Comment down below, guys. Are you getting this card or what you think about it? And again, guys, this was a quick update. A thumbs up. Always, always help us out, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Peace. When the original iPhone came out in 2007, we all had an iPhone. I'm <laughs>